Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So when you get drafted by the NBA, one of the big dreams of doing so is signing that shoe deal with a big name brand, you know, like a Jordan or a Nike or big baller brand or, you know, things like that out there. So for this video, we are going to be doing a seven game playoff series simulator between two uh, highly competitive brands in the Jordan brand and the Nike brand. Um, first of all, I want to know guys in the comment section below, what is your favorite brand? Like, do you have like a favorite certain kind of shoe? Like, you know, when you get like a new pair of like shoes for Christmas or maybe you save your money up, is there like a certain brand you always go for? Maybe just like clothing wise, like maybe you always wear Nike or Adidas or Jordan or stuff like that. And I know personally, I've always kind of uh, worn more Nike stuff. Um, I know probably about four, five years ago, I got a pair of, like, it's like, like when Under Armour was really, really coming to the shoe game. Um, I got a pair of Under Armour shoes and they were actually, they were really cheap, like, price wise so that's why i got them but they were actually pretty comfortable but uh, right now i got a pair of Kyrie threes that i just got for my birthday so i'm definitely more of a nike fan in my opinion but uh, you know i also respect jordan all that too so let me know in the comment section below also if you can do me a quick favor guys if you can drop a like on this video um it would really mean a lot to my crispy heart out here so let's go through these teams real quick here uh first we got team jordan and uh i don't know man i think team jordan look, looking pretty uh pretty good out there you know you got chris paul at point guard uh, I decided to put Russell Westbrook in the shooting guard position just because I wanted to put him in the starting lineup. But I wanted uh, Chris Paul to do more of the, uh, you know, playmaking out there. Um, Kawhi Leonard at the small forward position, so very good for defense and all that. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge at the power forward position and Andre Drummond at center. Although, now that I look at it, I think I'm going to make one quick switch here. I think I'm going to put Kawhi Leonard at power forward. Put Jimmy Bucket at small forward. Give some of these minutes up right here. Uh, the reason I'm going to do that actually is because uh, as you look on the team right here, man, uh, this team has no other big guys. Like Melo could, I guess, play power forward, but like Marcus can play uh, backup center. They also have no backup. I guess they got Kemba Walker for backup point guard. But yeah, guys, uh, this team right here looking pretty good. It's got good defense out there. Um, the shooting, besides for you know Ray Allen, I guess Chris Paul to some extent, and Jimmy Bucks, I guess, I guess can someone not, you know. What? Forget that, man. This team can kind of shoot. It's not like a it's not like a bad shooting team by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but now we have Team Nike. And Team Nike looking, oh my god, like I feel like they're gonna probably sweep out here, man. They might just sweep out there. You got Kyrie Irving at point guard. Uh, I'm going uh, back to rookie days of Kevin Durant putting up the shooting guard position. He actually played shooting guard when he first came into the league. Uh, LeBron James at small forward, Anthony Davis at power forward, Carl Anthony Thomas out center. Then off the bench, we got Paul George. DeMarcus Cousins, Isaiah Thomas, DeMar DeRozan, and Draymond Green. So this team, uh, like I said, guys, I'm thinking probably a sweep out there. But at the same time, uh, you know, this team looks more dysfunctional than the other team does. Uh, so I feel like this team is kind of going to play more well together, just in my opinion. But let me know in the comment section below, guys, before we get started here. Who is going to win, guys? Team Jordan or, or Team Nike? And how many games? Like, give me your prediction before you watch the video and see if you're correct. Let me know in the comment section below if you were. Um, I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking Team uh, Team Nike, guys. My Kyrie's out there. My Kyrie 3 is going to sweep the Jordans out there. Four games to zero. Maybe they're going to win on them. I mean, it's a really good team, too. So, can't really say that. They're not going to at least get one win. I'm going to say four games to two, Nike. Without further ado, here we go, man. Here we go. Simulate with SimCast. Game one. And here we go. Nike versus Jordan. And, uh, oh, my God. God damn, boy. Them Jordans out here blowing out. Oh, my God. Dog, Russell Westbrook, 27 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists. And not only that, like, it's not like the scoring-wise. It's that they held them to 77 points. Dude, that's, uh, I mean, like, you know, Jordan, Jordan's a gold brand. I ain't gonna lie, man, but LeBron James played good. Kevin Durant, uh, he did okay the shooting guard position. Anthony Davis kind of screwed us over there. DeMarcus... Uh, he sucked too. Carlton Towns 0 for 5. So, wow, man. First game going to Jordan in the blowout. Already making me wrong on this. Simulate with Simcast. Game 2. Here we go. All right. Now it looks like Nike. Oh, ooh, okay. It was for a second there, like Nike was about to blow him out there. 35 points, second quarter. But, uh, you know, they ended up. Did, they beat him by 12 or eight, 10 points. I'm sorry. But uh, I thought it was going to be a blowout for a second there. Kawhi Leonard 25 points for our team Jordan. 18, 10, and 6 for Russell Westbrook. 16 points off the bench for Kemba Walker. And uh, here's the rest of the stats here for everybody to see. And then we got Team Nike. <laughs> Team Nike, Kyrie Irving. Ooh, six for six. Shooting them threes out there, man. 32 points, five assists. LeBron James with a nice all-around game. Kevin Durant, 14 points at the shooting guard position. And there's the rest of everybody else. Dre Mike Williams got himself three points, one rebound, and three assists. And now we got Game 3. Game 3, similar with SimCast. Here we go, here we go. All right, ooh, this one looking back and forth. This one back and forth. Oh, it was for a second. And then Team Jordan taking it 99 to 80. 
uh, behind uh, Jimmy Buckets, 20 points, 4 rebounds, and 5 assists. Almost a triple-double for Russell Westbrook. Still good all-around numbers, no doubt. Carmel Anthony with a solid 14 points. All right, damn. I, would, I don't know, dog. I thought this was... It might be, it might be a seven-game series, actually. I totally thought uh, it was going to be a blowout by Nike out there. Totally thought that was going to happen. All right, this is game four. Okay, game four. Looking close, but uh, Jordan taking it once again. 108-93 with the 3-1 lead. But, you know, teams in the past. I'm not going to say what teams because people get pissy at me in the comments. But, you know, teams in the past have been uh, notorious for blowing 3 one lead every now and then. Man, it happens. Dog, Isaiah Thomas, 20 points off of four field goals. That's really crazy. I <laughs> hit two threes, two twos, and the rest was free throws. That's actually uh, kind of interesting to see. All right, all right. Now we got, uh, what's this, game Game five, game five. Team Jordan can close it out here. Simulate with SimCast. Game five, here we go. Simulate game. Is Jordan going to close it out? Or is LeBron James going to put the team on his back? And they, he does, 84, not 74. Or I don't know if LeBron does, but somebody does. Um, here we go. So, Russell Westbrook, 18, 9, and 5. We got 15 from uh, Jimmy Buckets, 13 from Kawhi Leonard. Low scoring game, 74 points, 84 points for the winner out there. Okay, so it was actually Bitch Ass Durant with the 22, 8, and 4. Put this team on the back. Said, uh, Yo, let me get this W real quick. And uh, I actually said LeBron James. I don't see, even see him in the top five anywhere. Where you at, LeBron? 6.6 6 rebound. Okay, so 314. Okay, he almost uh, not looking very good out there. All right, 3 2 time. 3 2 time. Simulate with Simcast. Here we go. Jordan Nike. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god, dude. 92 74. We go into game four, guys. Here is the stats for this game. We are going to a game seven. Do not let this video distract you from the fact that Nike might blow a 3 1 lead. Do not let this video distract you. Actually, let it distract you because you're watching it. You're witnessing it right, right here, right now, guys. Simulate with Simcast. Game seven. Who's winning it, guys? Who's going to win this? Simulate game. Oh my god. Ooh, Jordan off to the off to the races. Off to the races. They're like no 3-1 here. Oh, oh, Nike taking it back. Nike going back. Oh my god. 98-89. Jordan just blew a 3-1 lead. Oh my god. Yo, team Nike taking it. 98-89 in seven games. Jimmy Buck is in the close game. 16 points. Who freaking choked? Really, nobody choked all that much. Um, on the other team, though, Kevin Durant, 22 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, 5 steals, 1 block. 19 points for Anthony Davis, 18 for Paul George. Where LeBron James at this time? 1 for 7, he really don't want it, but it don't matter. We got it anyway, man. Team Nike wins this in 7 games. Kevin Durant, your finals MVP. Your uh, tournament MVP, I should say, 15 points, 5.3 rebounds, 3.4 assists. And I shot 53 from 3 out there. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you want some more of these uh, brand matchups. Let me know what other brands you want to see out there. Um, give me your list. You know, Send me any sort of these diagrams or whatever you want on Twitter, guys. At CrucifixFlakes2K. And thank you all so much for watching. And peace out, my friends.